All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, everybody. We're continuing on with the uh, main story quest as we've encountered the rabbit people here on the moon. They're currently trying to build a habitat for the people of Eorzea, or Therius, as they're trying to call it here. I guess that must have been the old name of the world. Definitely been an interesting expansion so far. Good to hear. Through this door is the greatest Endsville. It was named as such because it's a veil to end all veils, the most beautiful forest you'll ever see. I see the people of Ethereus enjoy taking leisurely walks through your natural spaces and the like, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. How about we start with a nice stroll to the fountain? This way. Very curious. Oh, that's right, I wanted to make sure I got a either current here. It's still here somewhere. It must be on the upper floor if it's around here. Where is the teleporter at? <coughs> yeah, it's up above somewhere, so let's go ahead and uh Grab that. And this will be our sixth one. I think it was towards the middle, wasn't it? So let's go ahead and get over to the middle bit here. Unfortunately, we're kind of having to take the long way, I guess. We weren't anywhere near the bridge. <laughs> Southwest, exactly where we're heading. In fact, the either current's right in front of us. All right. I'm gonna guess that there might be another one over in the forest area they're talking about, but I'm assuming last two or three are probably still outside. Yep, there's one over in that forest area, no doubt. Eee. That took me to one. I don't know why it didn't before. We know at least one of them is outside, because we found one we couldn't get to, so... Northeast, okay. <coughs> well, this is interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting, to be honest. by the stairs? Has to be very close by. Oh, there it is, okay. They might give us an either quest current at the end of the, uh, our time here, so we have at least two of the either quests to do. Yeah, at least three more of these regular either currents to get. So we're actually not doing very bad considering we haven't been here for very long. This so was definitely not made to be a very big zone. Southeast, because okay, so this one might be here too. So there might only be two outside with the headache to getting to them, which I'm kind of hoping for to be honest. On heading southeast, I guess. If it's not in here, it's gonna be fairly close around the back, but uh. 
hoping that's not the case. Okay, now we're heading east. Okay, it should be. It's definitely here. Somewhere. There it is. Okay. Cleaner. Hmm. So what do you think of the forest? Isn't it positively pleasant? It's simply sublime. I didn't see any weight. You didn't mean those crystals out there are. Right you are. More forest is made of crystals and constructs, dotting the landscape as far as the eyes can see. I think this place was a challenge, let me tell you. Since you were, you were, we were born here, we've never seen trees in person before, let alone a forest. The information sent by our collaborators were quite enlightening. After much deliberation, we decided to use crystalline constructs in place of living trees. Thanks to our atmospheric circulation system, this place produces air as clean as you'd find in a forest in Aetherius. The fountain here behind it is powered by the rather large crystal adorning its top, plays a vital role in the supplying us of fresh water. Much time and effort was spent here making it the most of the spherical spheres. I dare say the Imperial of Valnus speaks for itself. Oh, he said he liked to stretch, so let's go ahead and stretch, I guess. That's the spirit. I feel more relaxed simply watching you. Slight worth the many years spent building this place. If it's not too much to ask, I've always been a dream I know to walk through the forest or somewhere with Aetherius. Could we maybe... You will? Oh, be still my quivering whiskers. Okay, he's gonna accompany us, and he's probably gonna have those little blue spots everywhere, I imagine. Where I don't actually see any. Huh. Surprised. Yes, these are indeed trees. Yes. Hmm. I was thinking, Arn, that I could be more helpful to you by teaching you a little about the moon and what it is we do. When we were first created, the moon's sole purpose was to hold Zodiac, and there was absolutely nothing to be found here. Eventually, Hydan gave us our first task, to furnish the moon with prop propulsion systems capable of facilitating travel to other stars. Sounds impressive, I suppose, in some respects it is, but it was only possible thanks to all the knowledge Hydaelyn shared with us. We also had a lot of time to get it done, 6,000 years, give or take. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and grab this blue one over here while we're at it. What? No, I'm not sure what you, as you do with crystals on Aetherius, but we do not eat them. Certainly not this one. It's possessed of all six elements. Wind, lightning, fire, earth, ice, and water. We use crystals like these to maintain the moon's e elemental equilibrium. It's worth mentioning that because of Highland's influence, being the embodiment of tranquility and stasis and all, and building the elements here is different, th different than it would be on Aetherius. Conjuring a fire would sooner dry your clothes than singe them, for example. Put simply, the etheric conditions are ill-suited to growth, which is why the surface is mostly barren. Of course, this is well necessary to keep the raging energies of Zodiac in check. Well, that makes sense why the moon's like this, I guess. It's a bit kind of a surprise, but we didn't begin building the habitable areas until after the propulsion systems were ready. Considering how long it took, I wish we'd started sooner. Who would have thought we'd need 4,000 years to make it all this? It certainly wasn't work you dear rush, either. We had to create infrastructure and countless supporting systems, some of which wouldn't be operational until hundreds of years later. And then there was that brief period where our productivity came to a screeching halt, when that bizarre red satellite was sent up from Aetherius. The Allegon's mischief, I think. We thought maybe some new nefarious actor was colluding of Zodiac. All we could do was stand by and brace ourselves for the worst. 
Can't tell you how relieved we were when Highland informed us. Can't tell you how relieved we were when Highland informed us of his destruction. Ah uh, yes, there was much joyous humming in that act. So it's kind of interesting to see a history lesson from the moon. Say, do you notice anything particular about the treetops? I mean, apart from the fact they're made of crystals, not trees. I'll give you a hint. It's the golden rings emanating from the glowing spheres. I wonder if the device fixed something near the ceiling. It fulfill a role similar to our sun, and do so better, even. The sun's similar celestial objects are the great expanse rating energy that is harmful to your bodies. These rings shield you from the energy while allowing you to breathe in the perfect amount of sunlight, or rather a close, close approximation of it. Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if you look closely, you'll see different types of trees have ever so slightly different curvature. Yes, indeed, this forest is truly the greatest. Ah, yes. That is indeed a thing. There's something else I want to ask you, tell you about. Oh, uh, right. The propulsion systems of the habitat facilities were completed around 2,000 years ago, with that the most important features were fit for purpose. Which was all well and good, except we knew absolutely nothing about the present day people of Aetherius. Why not go and visit Aetherius yourself, you might ask, strictly forbidden. Were our technology or knowledge of the moon's true purpose exploited for evil ends, the results could be disastrous. Then there was a few more rejoinings, and it became increasingly difficult to converse with Hydaelyn. Fearful we may lose the ability to communicate with her altogether, we beseech her to find people on Aetherius we could trust to help. We were quite fortunate everything worked out as it did. Yeah, it is pretty good, I guess. With the exception of the routine inspections and maintenance, we remained asleep and waited, hopeful Highland would find someone who would help us. Eventually she did, and though her power was waning, we were able to speak to them directly for a short while. We shared with them everything we could, including our knowledge of the heavens, and the means to travel here to the moon. We certainly didn't waste any time with what we taught them. No more than a few years after that, our collaborators found a means to convey messages and supply to us from down below. With all the latter's books and other resources they sent, we learned enough to make, start making me more meaningful changes to the moon. And now you're here, hopefully enjoying yourself as much as I am. <coughs> I knew you would like the greatest sense, well I knew it. Thank you again for coming here, by the way. I know it was just a walk through the forest, but it meant a lot to me. There you are. I take it you've already received the grand tour, shame we missed it. Growing away, I've been looking all over for you. Oh, uh, is this about the teleport to the residential area? No, never mind that. We have more pressing matters at hand. I'm, I will be calling an emergency sh meeting shortly, and your attendance is required. Really? I can't imagine why you need me there, but if you insist. We won't be away long, so you are more than welcome to continue looking about the burrow. Now come along, Grung Way. Before we arrived, you seemed to be in the midst of a rousing conversation with your guide. Did you learn anything of import? They've spent 12,000 years preparing for this. With the appointed hour fast approaching, I can certainly understand their restlessness, but still. Maybe we see if the people can be persuaded to evacuate when there are yet no signs of the final days. What's more, the technology of this place defies imagination. I doubt there are as many who would readily come to terms with living in such surroundings. Whoever these collaborators are, unless they possess the world's most charming personalities or a means to forcibly evacuate people, they will meet with a great deal of resistance. Indeed, even in the face of annihilation, the decision to forsake all one knows cannot be made lightly. Forgive me, friends, but I must beg your leave. There's another matter which begs my, my attention. Of course, we can accompany you if you like. Nay, that will not be necessary, if you'll excuse me. Alright. 
It's clear now that difficult decisions lie ahead of us. Preparation for the evacuation of Aetherius is indeed crucial, but I'm not yet willing to forsake our world and its reflections. I trust I'm not alone in my repentance. Did your journey seem strange to you, more so than usual, I mean? I know he's a perchance for keeping his own counsel, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Would you go and see if he's alright? He still and I will remain here and see what else we can learn about the final days. If you hurry, perhaps you can catch up to him. Alright, let's go ahead and do that then. Yeah, that's not inside of here. Honestly, it wouldn't it would not uh, surprise me if I missed one towards the very beginning of the zone. Oh, I never got that corner. Now I have to go back and get it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I assume they're probably going to give me another set of side quests to do here soon. They gave me the first set, like, right when I was done with that western wing of area, so I'm assuming I'll have to probably talk to Yarn Jack. At this point, I'm getting the feet, so I'm missing the gauntlets, I think. And the helmet. I think I'm missing the helmet as well. But sometimes the gauntlets are actually part of the uh, side quests, I think, so... I'm assuming we're probably going to end up eavesdropping on him again. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Our journey appears to be heading towards the entrance to Best Place Burrow. That's neat, they actually run up the stairs, huh?
Your entry ventures off into Mare Latorium for reasons unknown. You must tread carefully, else we might sense your presence. Oh, that's stealth mission. Okay. Should have known. Should have known we get one of these again. Just like hide. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be uh, looking. Hmm? Okay. It's safe to move over to this rock at least. Going all the way up through here because uh, if we are, that's gonna be a while. <laughs> Nobody's here, Yarn Jay. Just keep on going. Oh, he's running. He took off, wow. <laughs> I'm thinking he's probably gonna turn here before the next rock, so. And there he goes running again. Jeez, man. Man, it's straight up taking off. Oh, okay. Thine arrival is timely as ever. Thou didst chance to overhear my conversation with Living Way, I presume? T'was not mine intent to move in shadow. Nevertheless, I have been asked to do that and more yet again. Is it so plain that these strangers could intuit it at a glance? My capacity for silence and secrecy and duplicity? And Grahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life. I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for a mercy. Would that I could say the same for Menphilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the Scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine her beloved daughter. Two souls, whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. That protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives. Ones that would not demand such terrible costs. That resignation weighed heavy on my mind as does the memory of another lost to mine inaction. Dearest Moonbreather, who did face death unflinching that we might secure a means to bring low the Asians. In her hour of need, I did naught. Dutiful disciple of Louisois, ever looking to the greater good, Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, mayhap she would be with us today. Selfish wants born of everlasting regrets. 
Most days I put them from my mind, but could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. Mayhap the right moral choice, but one I regard with great trepidation. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning. One which must never again come to pass. Thus must we struggle. Haunted by ghosts of those we have lost. Clinging to those we pray we can yet save. But what of those we cannot? How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Have faith in yourself and your decisions. Take heart and protect well those you can. Sage counsel indeed. Wisdom as befits a great worm. Curious that he should think thee in need of such encouragement. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. It would be to our mutual benefit if we could converse more openly with our aspiring caretakers. A concern I should be glad to address on the Scion's behalf. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. A lesson I have learned many times before. And today. Truth, my reason for traveling hither was the effect to plan my own, plan which may pay the path a way forward for all for us all. May I say, for there's no guarantee of success, just the reason I said alone that failure should have come but it would be mine to bear alone. Yet thou standest before me of a proffered hand and open heart. It was a risk of me to refuse thy enmity, and so I ask, wilt thou join me in my endeavor? We get our foot gear, nice. Get our hand gear this time. Maybe we did get our helmet here. I don't remember. Thank thee for accompanying me. There's a simple plan, truth. We shall not be long away from Best Ways Borough. Difficult decisions must needs be made in the coming days, but nonetheless, I believe we are of one mind and desire to save the people of Aetherius. Make clear resolve to Loperitz, I would offer them a gift, but as making the oath require the most singular ingredient. Alright, while well, we're out here though. Southeast out here. I'm thinking this may be the one over here that we couldn't get to before, but maybe we can now. <laughs> I'm looking over here and wondering what I can actually do to get over here. Okay, there is something here. Okay. That means we should be able to get this one. Okay, this is a different one than we found before. No way.
Down here, correct? Okay. Alright then. It looks like I should be able to get down here. Come on, let me get down here. Oh, there's in fact one over here, very close by. Oh, that must be the spaceship they were talking about. Okay. I thought I made my way over here then. I wonder if this will come in like useful later on, perhaps. I don't know. <coughs> At this point there should be a single green either current left. Yes, okay. It is southwest. If it's right over there, then that's lucky for us. Yeah, okay. This must be the one that was on the, the cliff side. Where is it? It should be here. There it is, okay. That's all ten. Thank goodness. I'm not sure if I can get back to where I need to be or not. If I have to, maybe, perhaps. Actually, maybe I can. Let me see. We have to go back up towards where that ship was. Yep. And then go over here. At least I think that was right, isn't it? Yeah. Have like a fungal quality or whatever is going on over here. <laughs> I guess they built these bridges. Almost the entire east side is pretty much filled out at this point. There's that small area to the very southeast. But... An abundance of sponge. Excellent. A chance to spy this aggravation when crossing Zodak's Irsmal prison. Using a spell taught to me by the Numu, I believe these shall suffice for the gift I would fashion. The magic required consider concentration, however. Must I May I prevail upon these stand watch while I perform the incantation. Looks like we're gonna have a battle. Hello there. Wherever you are.
Oh, more of them. Let's go in harmony circle. Oh, wowzers. This does quite a bit of damage. And another one. were. Hmm. Surveying the nearby area, you see no signs of potential threats. This would be a good opportunity to see how Yarn J is faring. Yarn J remains fixated on his work. There, tis done. Magic ink. Every ounce as officious as that crafted by the Numu. Rare as the acacia would conjure mine own, but it is nevertheless a most useful skill. The resulting product is admittedly possessed of no pre-natural pre properties, but it too is one of mine own choosing, which I pray the Lapras will appreciate. Noron, you're in jail. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you had been eaten, or I'd perhaps fallen to the crater. Stella has been looking all over for you, Narn. She says she needs to speak with you about something most urgent. Dire, even. She was also quite clear that she speaks to speak with Narn alone, which means I'm afraid you must stay behind, Yarn Jack. But worry not, it just so happens we need your help with an errand. Delivering a package from the Watcher's Palace to Best Ways Burrow. It's quite large and heavy. Perhaps even too heavy for we poor Lapras, and we would be ever so grateful if you could lend us a hand. Convenient, suspiciously convenient. Are you insinuating I would betray the trust of Highland's chosen, or worse, do anything to risk getting on Yasola's bad side? She's clearly not one to be crossed, nor made to wait. Now off with you. Don't worry, not hard. I shall be long. All right. Or is she still on here? I'm just gonna teleport back. Still no more of the quests that I want. Hmm. I assume those last two either quests would have to pop up. Maybe even three if I have to do one before the zone end. But they usually give me one for the zone end, but I don't know. I just don't think they put a dungeon at the end of this, because I don't even see a dungeon around. Though I don't remember if they have the markers or not before you actually find them. Hmm. The only place there could be a dungeon would be on that northwest part I haven't mapped out yet, because I would assume the blue marker for it would show up, but I don't know. Oh no, we thought you'd be away for a lo far longer. Our dire emergency, I said no such thing. But as you were here, I would use your assistance for one small matter. Running away, a companion of growing ways apparently has much to tell us of the final days. Problem, however, is that he's determined to live up to his name, refusing to stay still long enough for us to hold a conversation. Is there any way he'd likely stop and rest? Perhaps there's a way to slow him down. What's the rush? I was thinking we could wait here and maybe enjoy a cold mug of carrot juice, and no? Uh, well, if it's really that important. You try using these balls of mousy flesh, not to be confused with the other thing. Ahem, uh -huh. running ways 
other notable features is incessant chatter, so you have no problem finding him in a crowd. And when you do, try lobbing balls at him. Crew, but if it proves effective. He was here in Greatest Enzo when I last saw him. Let's split up and find him. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely getting up on that level scale there. Not too much further along, we'll be at level 86. Yeah, let's find the guy. Let's just peg him. That seem to be that one. Oh. Well, he was the one that they said was running around, so I can't really say that it might not be him. It's the only one that has his name, so it's kind of... Definitely an assumption. I don't see anybody running around here. It's not him. Well, that's smart. So if this was meant to be a joke, it's not funny. He wasn't really talking, though. That's kind of the uh, thing there. Oh, yes, I'm running away. Do you mind explaining why you hit me in the face with your balls of mouse flesh? I'm highly knowledgeable about the final days. If that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard since I woke up, who told you that joke? And so if we got time to look into the final days and there's so much to do before the Great Voyage. Shoot, the Highland did impart us some knowledge of the event, but I know that about as much as any other lumpard around here, that's probably. I don't know why anyone would think it'd be fine to go around telling people I'm an expert, but they better hope I won't get my paws on them. So I could be of more help, but if there's something else, I have work to do. And I'm off. Something's fishy going on here. find neither hide nor hair of him. How'd you fare? So he knows no more than the others. Care to explain yourself, growing away? Well, you see, I, uh... I misremember. Yes, that's, that, that's it. I misremembered. Terribly sorry about that. I'm afraid I'm drawing a blank, though. Try as I might. I can't remember who I was thinking of. On an unrelated note, what of RNJ? I assume you spoke to him earlier, but did he say he would be returning? On his way to the Watcher's Palace of Living Way. Between growing away's sudden lapse of memory and our lack of other leads, maybe it's our, our time we'd be spent lending RNJ a hand. What? Now hold on a moment. It's all coming back to me, yes I remember. The information you're looking for is in the archives. Yes, that's where you'll find all sorts of useful knowledge, including that pertaining to the final days. Hmm. Let's get our new hands. Still missing the bracelets, and I need the jackets. My helmet? Oh, I definitely don't have a helmet yet. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's the knee of the current. 
Oh, what to do, what to do. I promised Living Way I would help, but... No, I promised I'd help, so that's what I'll do. The Arch Hub's on the second floor of the main plaza, the eastern wing. Follow me. I suspect the Lopards are up to something. If there's aught to be learned of the final days, I think it's best to play along, for now at least. And we got more quests. Yes, okay. So I probably need the helmet and the bracelets. Honestly, maybe this would be a good stopping point anyways. So, next time we'll continue on with the side questing and hopefully getting to the bottom of what's going on here with these rabbits.